Yes, indeedy, boys and girls, I'm going to be trying to do the ill-fated attempt at installing Windows 95 on this PC. So without further ado, we have our mm, boot diskette, which should help us boot our optical drive, the optical CD, that is, through the optical drive. So we're going to grab it and put it in and start this up and see... See where this goes wrong. Because with my luck, it probably will. So, boot up our computer. Boot up our. Boot up our computer. That that wasn't totally a sign of things to come. I guess F1 or F2 is... Okay, we're happening. We're going into setup. Gonna insert our CD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. Other, set that to other OS. And we're going to tell it to, so we're going to go into boot drive, yeah, see what we get. Maybe try delete. After much frustration and uh, way too much time than I wanted to actually say how much time it took, uh, I'm finally booting off the flop drive. So, let's see if we can get into at least the CD. Okay, runtime error. Well, uh, we can still do stuff from the floppy disk. Yes, large disk support, and we are going to delete a partition and delete a non. Uh, let's see, three, one, volume label, no volume label. Yes, okay. Create one, create a primary. Just gonna check the drive. Now here's the part where it takes 37 minutes to form out a 20 gigabyte drive. So obviously I'm gonna be back after this finishes. Cause this is sure exciting. Ah, oh, here we are. It's now finished. So hit enter for no uh, label. And now that it is fully formatted, we're going to go over to the C drive. Directory. And angle this up a tad smidge. And then we are going to create a folder. What I've just done is I created a folder on the hard drive called Windows. And then inside Windows, I created a folder called Cabs. Then I went over to the installation medium and copied all the installation files from the disk to the hard drive in a special folder. Then, when I... reboot the computer and just boot solely off the floppy disk, I can go to the hard drive 
and initialize the setup from the hard drive without having messed with the optical, uh, without having messed with the CD. It'll take a few minutes to copy the files. Our files have now finished copying, so I'm going to eject our installation media and store it safely back in its cover. Because when there's 95 CDs, they don't they don't grow on trees. So I don't I don't want it to get you know messed with or broken or damaged. Then we are going to reboot the computer by doing by moving it no by doing control alt delete then the computer will boot off the floppy disk It's detecting the optical drive just as it's pulling the devices. It's going to throw one error, and it's because of some OEM specific thing. I'm using a Gateway OEM CD. I don't know why it's giving a runtime error 200 at the memory address. So what I did was I went to the C drive, went to went to um, the Windows directory that I created, the CADS directory, and then I ran setup. I initially typed install, which was an error, but that actually helped me figure out where the runtime address uh, problem is. This floppy diskette, or hit enter, this floppy diskette has special software that's supposed to run on certain hardware. And since this is not a gateway computer, it's going to be throwing an error if it doesn't detect the certain devices. So I'm going to hit enter and go through the routine check of the system. It does scan disk, and then I'll come back when it's finished. And after way too much time being spent trying to track down drivers, I now have Windows 95 successfully, well, yeah, pretty successfully running on this computer. I had to actually, and the, the PCI expansion card doesn't, the, the socket doesn't uh, work right now. I have yet to find drivers for it, so I think I'm gonna actually mm, disable it somehow. But, um, Sound works and everything. So I'm going to disable that. Yeah, I'm going to disable the card bus and then I'll restart and see if that fixes it. But yeah, one of these devices is throwing an error when I restart the computer. Well, when I try to restart the computer, it gives me uh, Windows Protection error. It's like Windows Protection Area, you need to restart. But when you hit restart, computer shuts down. It might also have to do with the power control. The uh, sleep wake, sl uh, sleep mode. Because I know that I ran into that issue on my Windows 98 computer, the desktop. But well, graphics drivers and sound works, so that's something. I and mean, that's, that's pretty much all you need for one of these computers. And now to do the test that everyone is familiar with, because 
Why not? Uh, media. To play our favorite MIDI. Dance of the Sugar Plums. Unfortunately, the media controls don't work. But, I mean, it sounds okay. I may have to adjust some of the uh, MIDI instruments, because it seems kind of empty. It's like it's missing some. So, if you do that, you go to settings, control panel, multimedia, I guess you can't change it. Okay. Well then. So I'm gonna end this pretty soon. Because I... We've seen video drivers work. They work fine. You have the full resolution of... Uh, I want to say 1024 by 768 at 16 bit. Uh, where is that settings? Yeah. At high, well, I want to go to 256. Well, no, nah. I don't know. I, I don't remember. Is it high or 256? I'm trying to figure out which one give, gives me better uh, depth. Yeah, let's go with 32. That looks that looks better. And background, we're going to pick. A nice, uh, that's pattern. Uh, we're going to do clouds and do tile. Actually, I wish it was, I wish it was stretch, but that's in the, Wait, this one's better. Eh, no, I don't like that one. Yeah, let's do that one. Okay. So that... And that's that. This is the Windbook J1. Originally shipped with uh, Windows ME as support for Windows 2000 and XP. But I was able to find and kind of modify some drivers to work with Windows 95. That was pretty awesome. It's still throwing the error about the... Uh, protection fault or memory fault or something. So I don't exactly know. Yeah, it's like I don't know why this is doing that. Because I... Maybe if I just remove the devices... Yeah, I could dig around and see if I could find drivers for it, but what, what, how many times am I going to actually use the expansion port? It'll probably, oh, uh, power management, that's under control. Uh, here we go, power, no, disable. Yeah, protection error is still doing it. I and I removed I I removed a stick of memory to see if maybe it was just the memory, and it's not. So I just put the memory back, and the screw that held in the memory uh, panel, the cover for the memory, was completely and utterly stripped. So I had to break the little panel, which is a little bit annoying, because I. You know, I, I don't want to break stuff when I work on things. But there was no way to get it because the screw was completely stripped and I didn't feel like drilling it out. And I probably could have drilled it out. I was just being lazy.
So if you like this video, thumbs it up and put a comment down below on your thoughts if you want. I'll have more content like this coming up soon. I try to do at least two videos a week. Sometimes more, sometimes less. I mean, hopefully not less. But an average of two videos a week, so that's... That's good. So, uh, have an awesome day, and look forward to more content like this, or similar.